When I was a kid, my parents took me to see a lot of great things in a lot of great places, but the one thing I found most memorable was going to the Renaissance Festival in Sterling, New York, and that's where I first developed my love and awareness for fire performers. Yeah, my mom took me to tap and jazz and dance classes as a kid and always um, supported me in doing that and definitely um, helped influence me wanting to become a performer and helped me to become the performer I am today. When Maria was a little girl, like moms do, I took her to dance class and she did pretty well with that, but of course she wasn't into all the traditional tutus and that type of thing and she would oftentimes just branch out on her own doing her own thing. So um, I wasn't surprised at all when she got into uh, the fire dance and that type of thing because that was right up her alley to, to do something offbeat. In the summer of 06, I started traveling without my parents and went to my first festival. And it was there that I seen fire performers again and really reconnected with that, following the Grateful Dead and going to these shows. And I decided I wanted to be a part of the scene and not just listening to music, but becoming a performer. Although uh, I support Maria and what she does, and you know, I, I, I could try to help her however I could, but. Um, I thought that some of her other talents, she was interested in animals, uh, she traveled extensively when she was younger, and I really thought college would have been a good idea, and she had an interest in biology, marine biology, or animals, but uh, she's good at what she does, and I still support her, but um, it doesn't surprise me that this is what she landed up doing. Aside from my love of fire performing, I'm also running a business. As you can see here, all these hoops are already decorated. The tubing looks like this when you first get it. I use a range of widths and size tubings to make hoops for everyone of all ages. I have a website and you can go and see a lot of hoops like this in different styles and sizes and colors. Everything from patchwork hoops to clear coated hoops for protection. My goal is to continue to run a successful business and advocate the good benefits there is of hoop dance to everybody, both for fitness and for fun. Another important aspect of my business is promotion, which I do through various networking sites like MySpace and Facebook. I also have a website of my own, HoopnosisHoops.com. You can go to these sites and others like YouTube to view old shows and footage of my performing. Another important aspect is promotional videos, which I have made in hopes of continuing to book indoor venues, as well as music and art vessels and other events. Another important aspect of my performing are costumes and wardrobe, like the one you see here, that I haven't worn yet, but I think I'll wear for the first time tonight. It'll also be the first time I'm performing at a gentleman's club in Salmaker, New York, and I hope to continue to incorporate hoop and fire dance into all types of ranges of demographic and venues. Yeah, he'll, he ought to be there in about five minutes. He's delivering the job. Okay, thanks. Hurry up. Hey, Jim, how you doing? What's happening? Check out these cars. They look great. They are awesome, aren't Excellent. they? Excellent. They're awesome. Thank they you so are much. They're great. Speaking of awesome, I have a show tonight. I don't know if you're free to come or not. There's no chance that I can make it. But you know what? I do remember seeing you spinning your fire at uh, Slide Fest. North Fork Music Park, yeah, something that's right. like that. Yeah. There's no awesome. way I can make it, but they turned out nice, didn't they? They did turn out nice. So you know what? I'm gonna keep one, all right? You can go ahead and do that, and I'm <laughs> sure you'll be able to come to shows in the future. So thank you so much for the support. No problem. Great. Hey, Doug. Do we have everything set and ready for the show tonight? I got everything we need: all the fire extinguishers, safety rope. We're gonna really first control aid. the crowd tonight. We got the first aid kit going. Oh, great. Okay, because you know safety's number one. Maybe it ties with fun, but safety's the big issue for you. We got it all okay. under control. Good. Got you under my watch tonight, man. Okay. Thank you.
When I got to the club, after deciding to go with my natural suede outfit, the owner pointed out to me that it would probably look best if I didn't wear it. Given the nature of the club, I agreed, and I later found it to be fun and advantageous to perform for this type of venue, and I hope to continue incorporating fire and hoop dance into adult venues. So after the show, the owner suggested that I go into the private booths and private rooms and give dances. I elected to sign autographed pictures of myself, because while I'm a dancer, I had to remind him that I'm a fire dancer and a featured performer, and while I may be coming back to the club, I plan to maintain professionalism when I do.